Hey guys, welcome back to video number three here on my Movies and More channel. Now, this video was supposed to be an unboxing video. And I actually did film an unboxing video, but when I uploaded it and I went to do the editing, it was painfully obvious that it was not a good quality video. The reason for that is I filmed it at 6.30 in the morning right after I got off work because I worked the night shift so it was obvious that I was tired the lighting was bad I was squinting like crazy so I just I I couldn't upload that video so basically this video is just gonna be me showing you what was in those packages and hopefully my next unboxing video which will be very soon because like I said I have no shortage of things coming in the mail okay first up now, this first item that I got, this first title, um, I love this movie series, but this is the third installment of it, and from what I understand, because I've never seen it on DVD in the U.S., I have it on VHS, but as far as DVD, I've never seen it. This one I actually got, it's a Canadian release, and as far as I understand, that's the only way you can get this on DVD, and that, of course is Night of the Demons 3. Really good movie, guys. Obviously, Night of the Demons 1 will always be my favorite. Uh, the remake, you know, the remake of the original, I I like the soundtrack. I really dig the soundtrack, but I didn't really care for the actual remake too much. But, you know, it's Night of the Demons 3, Canadian release. Um, as far as I know, the only way you can get this DVD. So I was really happy to get this. Okay, next up, next up, this the rest of them actually are from Scream Factory, which I've got five of them. The first one, I really didn't know anything about other than I saw one quick review of it, and uh, basically they described it as a dark fairy tale kind of movie, which that's all I needed to hear. I mean, I kind of like watching those, checking them out. Some of them are really good, some aren't. I was kind of hoping this would be good. I haven't watched it yet, but I am looking forward to it. And that is Tale of Tales. It seems, I, I, got, I got high hopes for it. I mean, you know, I mean, worse comes to worse. If it's not good, oh well. But, you know, I, I don't feel like I risk too much by buying it blindly. So I'll be checking that out in a few days. Next up, again, these are all the rest of these are Scream Factory. From this one, I got uh, what do I got here? Yeah, okay. Wait, let me show you this one first. All right, from Wes Craven, I got Wes Craven's Shocker. And this one I actually got off eBay at a really good price with the slipcover, which that's really cool. I always like to try to get the slipcovers. Especially nowadays. But yeah, Wes Craven's Shocker. Really glad. I don't think I even have this on any other format. I don't even think I had the VHS of this, to be honest. So this was a this was a good buy for me. Okay, next up, this one again, Scream Factory. Um, this is one I had pre-ordered for a long time. Um, this is the special steelbook edition of it. Um pure nostalgia for me guys this is the 1986 Transformers movie I remember seeing this as a kid and you know when I seen that Scream Factory was releasing this I I pre-ordered this immediately and like I say this is a really nice really cool steel book and I love collecting steel books these days too I have that'll I'll do another video just showing off all my steel books because I do have a lot of them and as you guys know some of those can be very very rare and valuable so yes Transformers the 1986 movie awesome all right now these next two titles pre-orders from Scream Factory um, they weren't just regular pre-orders. These were the deluxe limited edition pre-orders, which meant 
you know you got the you got the blu-ray with the slip cover and a poster which you normally get with the pre-orders but because it was a deluxe one they actually commissioned other artwork and so they gave you a second poster and a second slip cover of the additional artwork so I mean that that's really cool first up we have John Carpenter's The Thing great movie guys this is definitely one of my all-time favorites right here and then this this is the cover I chose to put on the blu-ray and the alternate cover that they sent the alternate slip cover that's what it looks like and like I said both of these are also posters that I have which I'll actually show the posters at the end because I have them all framed up and next the other deluxe edition that I picked up was of course Carrie and again that's the that's the slip cover I chose to put on and this is the alternate slip cover that they sent really happy to get these additions guys cool stuff now usually when I get these Scream Factory editions because I mean nine times out of ten they're the top of the line you're not going to get anything better so if I have the standard edition blu-ray or DVD of a title I just bought I'll usually trade it in I have a box of movies that every month or two I take them to the exchange trade them in for store credit so normally when I get these I just pull out what I have on the shelf and I'll trade it in I always check to make sure because sometimes they can be out of print and valuable then I'll keep them but and as far as Carrie goes I mean the edition of Carrie that I had on DVD um, I mean I did check the value of it it's it's really has no value to it so I was going to get rid of it however when checking the value of this all the ones I saw for sale did not have the 3d slip cover that I have for it so and you know nowadays slip covers can be crazy ridiculously rare and hard to find now I know it's a DVD slip cover so it may not be worth anything but until I find out for sure I'm probably gonna hang on to this DVD just because I do have that 3d slip cover um, if any of you guys watching this have any idea about this slipcover, if it's rare or valuable, or if you've seen it anywhere for sale for a decent price, let me know. So I'll be hanging on to that until I, until further notice. So that's it, guys. That's everything I unboxed. Um, I wish I could have, you know, uploaded the original video of me actually unboxing them, but like I say, it just didn't work out that way. Um... I do have, I believe I have a package coming today that I will do an unboxing video for. Um, it's not a movie. Uh, I don't want to, I'm not going to give away what it is. If you want to see what it is, check out my next video. Um, I can assure you it's awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it, guys. Um, hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys picked up any of these titles or anything you might have come and pre-ordered from Scream Factory. That's everything, guys. Once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.